Did you know that heart disease remains the number one killer in the United States? And despite all of our best efforts, there are still people dying on a daily basis from heart disease. So above and beyond medications, what are some of the supplements that we can add to help fight heart disease? And today, we're going to focus on coenzyme Q10. I'm Dr. Sanjay, a board-certified interventional cardiologist, functional medicine practitioner, and someone who is absolutely passionate about teaching you what you can do to avoid heart disease. With over two decades of experience as a physician, I've witnessed firsthand how impactful simple changes that we make in our everyday lives in terms of diet and lifestyle can really impact our heart health. Furthermore, we can leverage smart supplementation to really optimize our cardiac health. In my journey, I've come across so many supplements that have crazy claims that, oh, we can stop heart disease and we can do this and we can do that. But I think one of the most simple ones and one of the ones that's often overlooked is coenzyme Q10. CoQ10 is everywhere in our body. Every single cell in your body uses coenzyme Q10. Where? Well, at a mitochondrial level to help you create energy. It is also a very powerful antioxidant preventing cell damage to help keep you living healthier and to keep you living longer. So what is CoQ10? It's a vitamin that is essential for the creation of energy in a part of our cell called mitochondria. Again, every single cell in your body uses coenzyme Q10. It's essential for the production of energy in your brain, in your heart, in your muscles, and in your gut. So what does coenzyme Q actually do? Coenzyme Q is what's called a cofactor or a required nutrient for biochemical processes in our mitochondria, which I have mentioned several times before, which are these little tiny sausage shaped parts of our cells that create energy through a form of ATP. Now, there are actually two different types of CoQ10, ubiquinone and ubiquinol. And this can get kind of confusing. Ubiquinone is the less active form of coenzyme Q10. It undergoes a chemical reaction to get activated into ubiquinol, which is much more bioavailable, meaning it's much more easily used by our cells. Why should you care about supplementing CoQ10? What difference can it make? Well, actually, there's a lot of differences that it can make. It's been shown to increase cardiovascular health by helping improve blood pressure, as well as things like heart failure and muscle contraction. There's even data to suggest that in people who have had coronary artery bypass graft surgery or cabbage surgery, their outcomes are actually clinically better with coenzyme Q10 supplementation than without. A lot of people think about adding in coenzyme Q10 as a supplement when they take certain types of cholesterol medications called statin drugs. These statin medications can deplete your coenzyme Q10 and make it harder for your cells to function. So if you're looking to supplement, aim for 100 to 300 milligrams a day, depending on your specific medical situation. And if you're not sure, always talk to your healthcare provider to see what he or she thinks about how much CoQ10 you should be taking. So where can I get coenzyme Q10? Well, CoQ10 exists in nature in organ meats and fatty fish. Now, if you don't eat animal protein, there are natural vegetarian sources of coenzyme Q10. Vegetarian sources of coenzyme Q10 include strawberries, oranges, and whole grains. However, if you're deficient in CoQ10, it's hard to get into a more normal or optimal range with just diet alone. A lot of times you will need to supplement. Now, when we talk about adding CoQ10 supplements, remember there's two types of supplements, ubiquinone and ubiquinol. As with any medication or supplement, some people react better than others. And the most common side effect that people complain of when they take CoQ10 is a stomach upset. Getting back to the two types of supplements for CoQ10, ubiquinone is generally not very water soluble, meaning you can't just mix it in water and drink it. So oftentimes these supplements will come mixed with some sort of an oil, like a MCT oil, for instance. That mixing ubiquinone in oil can actually increase its bioavailability 
by about four to five times to make it easier for your body to absorb. Ubiquinone, on the other hand, the more active form of CoQ10, is about two or three times more bioavailable than ubiquinone. So if you can find a ubiquinol supplement, which is likely more expensive, that will get in your body a lot faster and your body will be able to use it much quicker. And again, remember, we are aiming for about 100 to 300 milligrams of CoQ10 a day. So in conclusion, CoQ10 may be a great addition to your supplementation regimen because there are a lot of really cool data here that show this improvement in heart health. But just like everything, there's no one magic pill. So on top of CoQ10, remember, you're gonna still wanna optimize your diet, exercise, and lifestyle to get the greatest benefit for your health. And if you want more videos like this to help get you to the root cause of whatever medical condition you might be suffering from, please like and follow the Rupa Health page.